frankly, I did not know that the transportation user fee was something that when you turn 65, you could opt out of. Mayor Steve Adler, like many in Austin, unaware of an exemption that saves seniors money on their utility bills. That was on Friday, and this evening we have learned the Public Works Department failed to send out any kind of notice for the transportation user fee exemptions for at least seven years. So if you know, you know, and if you don't, you just keep paying. Viewers first brought this concern to our attention, and KXAN investigator Kylie McGivern has been digging into this issue ever since. Kylie, what did you find? Well, today what we found is we went straight to Public Works after several people saw our report on Friday and said they contacted the city to get what's listed as the street service fee taken off their bill. The monthly fee funds street maintenance and repair and ranges from around six to ten dollars a person. I met with one woman who's paid the fee for the last 20 years and didn't have to. If only she had known. I would like to uh, uh, get the exemption for the street service fee. An exemption long overdue for many people like 85-year-old Glenda Miller. We had no idea that that uh, discount was available. The Public Works Department collects the money until someone 65 or older applies for the exemption. Even then, there are no refunds. Uh, that really makes you angry, doesn't it? That just is not right. It just seems immoral. Well, having a, a $10 fee monthly, that really mounts up. And over the years, it's a, a substantial amount of money. We spoke with James Snow, who has been with Public Works seven years, and he says notices and bills stopped before he even got there. And on its webpage, there is no mention of fee exemptions. We haven't actually put a flyer out, but during the annual budget process every year as we work through council, what we do is actually we talk about exemptions like this during the council process. But do you think the typical homeowner realizes what to look for and realizes what exemptions are in place? We at the city of Austin have always been trying to make sure that we're more inclusive, more open and transparent about what we do in our budgeting. But people like Glenda aren't seeing anything to support that. And I listen to the news. I read my newspaper. I'm I'm careful, uh, so I feel that uh, I've done everything that I can, and I was just not informed. Yeah, you know, whatever way we can to get the message out, we can, uh, and we will try. And after our pressing, those efforts began today. Now, if you go to the webpage detailing the transportation user fee, you'll find a section that talks about the 65 and older exemption and includes an email address. You can also call 311. Keep in mind, Public Works says it could take up to two billing cycles to remove that fee. Shannon? Kylie, thank you. Earlier this year, KXAN investigators uncovered drainage fee flaws, forcing some Austin homeowners to pay more than they should. The city was using years-old aerial maps to calculate what's called impervious cover. That's any ground cover that cannot absorb water, like a roof or a concrete driveway. Since our February investigation, Austin's Watershed Protection Department has corrected dozens of incorrect or outdated assessments and credited residents and businesses more than $33,000.